Banerjee. I represent Prakya, which is an organization which works to address the development issues of the high altitude Himalayan region in uh, India and in Nepal. We began work in India, that was way back in 1995, with a single district called Lahore and Spiti in the state of Himachal Pradesh, and today we are working in a total of 13 districts in India and we are also working in three districts, high altitude districts in Nepal. By high altitude, I mean above 7,000 feet in the Himalayan region. We are addressing a range of development issues, including biodiversity, um, that includes, for instance, medicinal plants, conservation, uh, wetlands conservation, renewable energy for um, adequate uh, electricity in, in remote villages, um, education and health services in remote villages, um, water conservation and culture conservation as well. And most services are actually made for plains areas, they're not really made for high mountain areas. So we are addressing an area where most of the normal technologies and normal services don't really work. Therefore we have had to innovate a lot. The area is totally cut off during the winters. There is very little communication from outside to into the Himalayan region during the winters. And winter stretches right from December on to May. That's a good part of the year when um, the area has to be almost self-reliant. The agriculture that the uh, communities depend on for their livelihood and for their food is not possible during winters. So really speaking, what happens is that People are um, confined to their, to their homes. One of the issues as a result of this is that of a high exposure to um, indoor air pollution because they, they have to stay in, um, in wood fire heated homes, which leads to a lot of lung diseases. So um, that's, that's one of the consequences of the winter. All the work they do in the summer, all the agriculture they do in the summer, is actually um, it, it's meant for addressing their summer needs as well as their winter needs. So by autumn, people have to store up food and fodder for the cold winter months when they have to depend on whatever was cultivated during the summer to feed them. Most of the high altitudes are also cut off for a large part of the winters from power. We realize that the problem is that in case there's a failure of electricity, there is no maintenance possible and as a result they stay without electricity for several months during the winters. So we innovated to develop a renewable energy system which provides localized power which is decentralized energy. This is called a solar wind hybrid system. We set up two of these systems in the Himalayas which are pilot projects. Uh, for instance, we have set up one, one such system in a village called Losar at, a, at an altitude of 14,000 feet. Uh, this village has about uh, 30 households and this is a solar wind hybrid system which generates electricity through sun and wind which are abundantly available in these areas. And um, uh, two, it, it's a 2.1 kilowatt system which provides power to all the households there as well as to the primary health center and the school in that village. Apart from this, we have also innovated in water. The natural springs are what the, what the local communities depend on for drinking water. And these natural springs are drying up as a result of climate change and uh, the decreasing snowfall. And hence we have worked on snow harvesting systems. We have uh, set up a snow reservoir in, uh, in uh, Lahore and Spiti. We have set up solar pumps for um, extracting and for lifting water in, in uh, the Ladakh region. We have uh, worked on spring revitalization in order to enhance the spring flows and thus ensure drinking water for the local population. We have worked on even um, creating portable water systems for the nomadic communities in, in the Ladakh Himalayas. So these are a range of, um, of 
I would say technical innovations or technology based innovations that we have introduced in, in the Himalayan region which are specific to the problems, the resources, the issues of the Himalayan region.